Well, that was the shortest retirement ever from GLP content. Oh my God. Have you heard that Valhalla has retitrutide? and you can get it compounded. So with compounding pharmacies, they are able to make terzepatide and semaglutide right now because those medications are on the FDA shortage list. They can make exact copies of that medication without any kind of copyright infringement. Now, once it's off the FDA shortage list, those compounding pharmacies can still make the medicine by adding in like a B6 or a B12 or something like that because it changes up the formulation. So, retitrutide is available. Um, it is still going through the final processes of getting manufactured and distributed at this point, but that medication is being made compounded with B6, just like our terzepatide or semaglutide can be compounded with B6 if it's not on the shortage list. Pharmacy that Valhalla is using is this pharmacy. Available? Yes, it is. Is it available from the black market? <gasps> no, it is available from a really reputable pharmacy where everything is in the United States and is available now. Um, this would be a really great option for people who have been non-responders to the other GLP-1 medications. And guess what? If you're afraid of taking retitrutide that is not from the main manufacturer, don't take it. You don't have to take it. How can you sleep at night telling people out there that are desperate, sick people that need medicine, to go and take retitrutide from a compound pharmacy and act like it's the same thing as taking terzepatide or semaglutide, which it's not. Those medications have gone through short-term and long-term studies. Retitrutide's not even gonna be out till next year. It's still in long-term studies. It hasn't been FDA approved for anything. I don't know how you sleep at night, seriously. If anybody is watching this and considering doing something this asinine, don't do it. It's not worth it. You don't know what you're putting in your body. And to you, no.